All right, so welcome back. We're out here in the garage again, working on the 79 CB750K. Uh, now that we've kind of gotten some stuff hammered out in the last episode, we rebuilt the front brake caliper here. I've gotten a bunch of new parts to throw at the bike. So in today's episode, we're gonna be kind of reassembling some stuff here. So as you can see on the front, I've already reattached the front fender. We're gonna be going through and putting the headlight bucket back in and all that back bracketry and permanently mounting and installing the speedo gauge and hopefully figuring out that wire spaghetti here. We'll see about that one. Uh, and then I also have the inner fender here and the rear fender that we're going to be installing. So we're going to get started out back here first. Okay, so for the rear inner fender, you'll notice on the side here, there are these little uh, extensions with grooves in them. So there's actually some cables that come down here on the far side. You might be able to see them here. Uh, so anyways, these cables hook into this section here, and this is what kind of keeps them out of the way and stabilized. So we have to make sure we get those hooked in first, and then we can pop in the inner fender. Now the way this inner fender hooks in is it's a friction fit here. So you just have to kind of work it into place. Now for the rear fender, it has four mounting locations. So there's two bolts up here, a bolt in right here, and then one on each side, a hook into the frame rails here. Uh, the ones that hook into the frame rails here, that's also what the rear handlebar will eventually bolt into as well. Okay, so we now have both fenders reattached to the bike. So the surely it's coming back together. All right, so now we're gonna move over and start working on the front end of the bike. Okay, so for the first part of getting this all figured out is we need to get this bracket in here. This is what uh, the headlight will attach to, but it's also what helps mount the speedometer gauge to the horns here on the bike. So basically there's two screws that come out of the bottom of the uh, speedo gauge, comes down through here and then you bolt in from the bottom side here, right here. Okay, so that is our headlight bucket frame installed. Gauges are now actually officially secured in place. Uh, we can go ahead and attach our speedo cable and our tack cable here.
Okay, so now our speedometer has its cables hooked up. Uh, next we need to get the bucket for the headlight, get that put in place, and that means we can start routing some of this wiring here and getting that figured out. Okay, so we've got the headlight bucket in place, turn signals are attached, and here's the thing. I couldn't find any photos of how this is all actually supposed to be routed, so I have no idea how this is actually supposed to go. Uh, yeah, so we're about to find out together if this will actually work or not. But from what I could tell, similar to the back side of the bike, I do see these kind of like standoff things here at the back of the bucket. It look like maybe they're supposed to hold some of these connections. So, I don't know. We're going to test this out here and see what happens. So I think that's our wiring basically sorted out at this point. Uh, before I put these side reflectors on here, I'm going to get the headlight in, uh, do maybe a quick assessment of its angle, and then from that point I should then be able to come in and tighten these guys down. <laughs> Okay, so this light is out, but I need to check to see if that's because of the wiring or if this bulb's just shot. So, uh, easiest way to do that is probably going to pop this lens cover first and just check the bulb. If not, then we'll have to pull this back apart and check the wiring. Okay, so I think I might be dealing with a double issue here. The bulb here was definitely shot. I 
not sure if you can hear that, but filament is definitely gone on this one. Still though, even with putting a known good bulb in there, still not getting any light. So I'm going to pull the headlight back out and just check the wiring really quick. As long as that's good, I don't know, throw the voltmeter on it and see what I'm getting. All right, anyways, back to testing. Okay, so check the wiring again and we're definitely connected. So something else is going on here. So we're gonna bust up the trusty multimeter and see if we're actually getting voltage. So if you test the right wire, you do get voltage. Okay, so what we're then going to do is come in here. Okay, and so we're getting voltage here too. So, that is intriguing. Okay. So we know we're getting voltage here at the connection here at the head, at the light. So if we're getting voltage there, are we getting a ground though? Which we are getting ground at the light as well. Okay. A few other bulbs lying around the shop. We can give a shot really quick. Hey, all right. So that's all it was, it just didn't like that other bulb. All right, well, there we go. Lighting works, I'm gonna put the front end back together and yeah, that about wraps up the front end uh, restoration here. Uh, I do need to tighten these down and put the reflectors back on, but other than that, we should be good to go. So I'm gonna button this up and then we'll wrap it up. All right. And here we are all buttoned up. This is so exciting. The only thing left to do is uh, when I get the new brake line in, that of course come wrap up around here to the brake master cylinder. That's the only piece missing from the front end right now. But yeah. That is super exciting. All right, see you all next time.